Hi, I'm Sarah. I live in New York and I have crabs. A lot of crabs. Hermit crabs need really specific things to survive and the pet stores tend to not give the correct information. So that's where I come in. I'm here to help you set up your tank or your crabitat so your hermit crabs can live long, healthy, crabby little lives. So it's time to talk about something really important. It's time to talk about molting. Crabs don't grow the way that other animals do. For example, my cat Peewee really liked to eat. I also really liked to feed Peewee. Peewee got bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually he was very hard to pick up. For a hermit crab to get bigger, they actually have to dig down into the sand, get comfortable, do a little Netflix and chill, and then pop off their exoskeleton. A fun fact about hermit crabs is they actually eat their old exoskeleton while their new exoskeleton is hardening up. They love all that calcium. So that's weird but also kind of cool. After a hermit crab has finished molting, it'll crawl back up onto the beach and act like nothing happened. So let's see what's going on in the crab habitat today. We're in luck. Squishy the crab is going down for his molt right now. So there you have it, the importance of molting. Make sure that you give your crabs nice deep sand so they can bury, get their Netflix on, pop off that exoskeleton, eat it, come back up, and they'll be bigger, healthier, and stronger, and continue to live their crabby little lives. There's a link in the video description about how to actually set up your sand, because you do have to mix it with a couple things. But again, your crabs will thank you for it. And remember, always be crabby.